I'm about to grab this shit like this, and some kid was like, boom, punched my hand, and I looked up and moved my hand. By the time I was gone, the dollar was gone. I don't know. I'm given. I don't know. I'm just afraid to get this surgery done. Um, as I'm recording this video right now, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers, and that is insane. That is insane. Like I never thought those words would come out of my mouth. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today's an exciting day, guys. Today, Anna's parents have come back from Mexico. They were gone for like almost two months, can I? I think so. Like almost two months. They went to the motherland. We're on our way to go see them, but first, of course, we gotta get Anna's Starbucks. Oh, to, to the store. Mama gets cafe, Ari gets pan. But she, but today she wasn't excited. She saw that we were at the store. She's like, Mom, no, casa tío. I don't think she even knows we're here. Ari, ¿sabes dónde estamos? ¿Sí o no? ¿Dónde estamos? No, esta no es casa tío. She, she's excited to see your brother. She doesn't know how to say my grandparents because if I say casa abuela, she thinks we're going to your mom's. So she, she's saying, well, I mean, she's excited to see him too. Papa. Mande. Casa abuela, sí. But I'm telling Ana that I, I don't know we should start saying like abuela Norma, which is my mom, or abuela Gloria, which is Ana's mom. That way she understands who's who, because I feel like when we say we're gonna go to Casa Abuela, she thinks we're gonna, most of the time, we want to my mom's house, because they live here, and Ana's parents live far, so. I don't know, but then Ana was like, you think she want, you think your mom wants to be called abuela, abuela Norma? I'm like, I don't think there's an issue, I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna have to find out, I guess. Oh, no, it's not the water. Oh, no, it's not What's up, Junior? That was funny. <laughs> We're out here in the wilderness, yo. Ahí viene, ahí viene, ahí viene. Ábales, ábales, me. Diles, me. ¿Tienen hambre? Dales comida, dales comida. Ayer estaba ahí. Anoche, anoche ya se quiere, la, la, la estaba haciendo cosquillas, estaba en el... Mira, mija. Mira, mija. Dale un besito, Ari. Un besito. Ya se quiere empezar a cargar, ya. Es que... Es Ana's parents came through with the candy, yo. They got Ana some... Some Carlos Quinto Cero. Exactly for Ana, because it's diet. They thought about you. Le gustó también a Ian. <laughs> I told him to bring me some rancheritos, they came too, yo. Hell yeah. No, tan bueno todo modo, gracias. What is up, guys? So, this is the next day after we went to Anna's parents. It's Saturday. I'm actually working today and doing some overtime, but on the weekends, I guess you could call it like a tradition. I don't know. I've been working a ton of overtime, like a ton. I've been working literally every day, like no days off. So, if you're watching this, go like, share, subscribe. We're still posting videos, even though I'm working a ton. I love doing this and we're doing it, you know? So go like it. Subscribe if you're new. Watch the videos, you know? Drop a comment. Let us know what's up. We got Ian here. Se acabo de despertar. Está enojado.
Oh, he's mad, mad. So I'm trying to get him a cookie. So yeah, it's kind of like a little thing that Anna has going on right now with Daria it's on the weekends. Anna kind of holds things off on the weekends, like if we need anything really, because her and Aria, they literally, they go shopping by themselves. Anna took her one time, and now that's what Aria wants to do all the time. So she kind of has a thing where like, and she knows, like it's the weekend, we're gonna go to the store. So Anna and Aria left to the store. I'm working. Ian is still supposed to be asleep, but this kid just woke up. He's supposed to be asleep for at least another another hour and another half an hour probably. But he just woke up. This kid has been waking up like so pissed off lately. We think it's because he's teething, getting his motor. So that could be it. I don't know. He's so upset. We're trying to make him happy, which I think this is gonna make him happy what I'm gonna do right now. Do not believe what people say, guys. It's not so much that the second kid is harder. I don't think the second kid is harder. It is harder, but I don't think it's what everybody says. The second kid is the wild one. I don't think it's that at all. I think what it is is that Ian sees everything that Arya does. And Arya, of course, is three years older than him. He's everything that she does, so she just wants to mimic her. This is why it's harder because Arya was not doing this kind of stuff at this kid's age. That's the only thing. That's it. Which is, you know, it's good. He's a kid. He's learning fast, which is great. Say, like, hey, buddy, like you barely turned one. Calm down, you know? But Ian, Arya loves guys, you guys all know. <laughs> But Ari also loves trolls, Poppy. And I don't know why she loves the second movie only. And now Ian is the same thing. He loves trolls, but only the second movie. Uh, if it's not the second movie, he doesn't want to watch it. And he'll get stuck on it. I have trolls on for him. It's the second one. So hopefully he, <laughs> I think he's gonna prep himself up, watch. Yeah, look. <laughs> He loves this movie. So chose to have it on and wife work because I'm working. Hopefully Anna will be back home pretty soon because it is hard to work and watch the kids, especially by myself. <laughs> No qué? No queda, dile. No queda. No queda qué? No queda zapatos. Los zapatos no no te quedaron los zapatos? Sí. Oh no, ¿qué vamos a hacer? No los zapatos no te quedaron. Oh no, Ari, ¿qué vamos a hacer? ¿A dónde fuiste con mamá? Y que te y comiste pan y café. Sí. No. Mommy. Okay. Mommy, I cry. Oh, wow. That one yummy? Part two, guys. Anna's taking off again. But she's dreading it. No kidding. Okay. Yen is a little bit of a struggle when we go out. He's always crying for no, some reason. No, but I feel like by himself is fine, but he's just crying a lot right now. I told Arya that we were going to bring her back. I don't know. I don't know if we recorded when we came here that other day, but I told her I'd bring her. ¿Qué es nieve? ¿Está rico? Sí. ¿Y Yen? I guess it's Ian. Mia, Papa Mia, Papa Mia. <laughs> Papa I don't think. Mia. Wow. I don't think he's a fan of like cold stuff. Come on, come on. Ian's not a fan. He's not a fan, and this guy gives him spoonfuls. <laughs> I'm trying to give him a full spoonful, and you just won't take it. Ian. Get a brain freeze, see? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What's up, guys? So, we are actually in the outlets today. We went to Anna's parents' house, as you guys saw this weekend. We completely forgot that one of Anna's cousins is getting married next week. And now we're here trying to find clothes for this man. The big thing is if Anna's really gonna find anything, I highly doubt it. This is Anna has been going shopping since literally we came back from Anna's parents' house. She has not better find anything. We're gonna see if now she finds something. As you can see, we ended up just coming to the mall and said, Anna didn't find crap. Nothing. Now we're here. Hey, you're the small. I don't think it's that one. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Special request for Anna, we got the chicken. That's the turkey. <laughs> the old turkey leg? Alright, the last chicken. I need to go for I don't think she's gonna wanna eat. They have a whole playground over there. You wanna go try? I'll go get it. Oh. I did just launch this up with all the kids in there. I don't, I don't think she's gonna even eat at all. Do you think she's gonna eat? Gotta come inside because I didn't want to eat. Woman. Now we got a bright She's just been playing all the time. You want to walk? I'm on a keto diet. <laughs> oh, that's sad. We got Junior the babysitter. I 
Daddy, ¿qué es eso? ¿Es candy? ¿Sí? I told Anna, I think since the day that we were swimming, she got hella like a taxi. That's good. Yeah. Hey, that's good. High five. Then high five. Can you find Bro, can you find anywhere? No. Hey, what's up next to you? Oh, my son. Why? Put him on the floor with a bunch of blankets. We'll put like 50 blankets. <laughs> hey, I'm telling her she doesn't want to put the kids to sleep on the bed and they poop on Chris. Alright, alright. Put them on the floor with like 50 blankets and 20 pillows on the side. Well, then if they call out, they'll come out to the door and we'll be like, hey, come over here and we'll continue. You want to go see about it? Nah, they ain't no thing about it. I found the solution to every fucking problem. I got you, dog. The problem, bro, is uh, I'm married to Anna, bro. I bet you that shit went in one ear out the other, bro. <laughs> I can almost get into it. We're gonna make this shit happen. We're gonna make this shit happen. <laughs> For you to go through, you gotta go through. Yeah, definitely. We gotta leave the like. We gotta like lock the girls in like the room and like figure it out. We gotta figure it out somehow, some way. Okay, ya nos damos. As you guys can see, we ended up coming back to Anna's parents' house. We left the party, y'all. I'm so exhausted. So exhausted. Running around with this kid all day. Not the best. You guys didn't see all of it. I wanted to record so much stuff, even on my phone for Snapchat, Instagram, and. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, I'm exhausted. We went to a wedding, Anna's cousin got married and they also baptized their son. This is actually from the last bolo, baby. This is some of the money that Adi got. I'm telling Anna that I can't. Oh, Adi's gonna be excited. Why? Another one to match it. Or is this the one from our cup? Oh, no, it's not. No, it's, it's not. gonna be another one to match her, her cup. It's a unicorn. Bop it. I'm telling Anna that a kid punched my hand when I was trying to grab a fucking dollar. I was trying to grab a dollar that they threw and a kid should have just punched my hand. Let me show you guys. in their defense, the bolo is for the kid. I was trying to give it for Adi, you know? I'm not trying to give it for myself. This is, this is the kid. This is what we have. Like, this is the kid's money. Pretend like this dollar goes on the ground, but it's right here on the table, right? I'm about to grab this shit like this, and some kid was like, Punch my hand and I looked up and moved my hand. By the time I was gone, the dollar was gone. Punch my hand and took a damn dollar. It man. was like magic. It was magic. I was like, what the fuck? But hey, we got some. The kids got. The kids are balling, man. But we keep on wasting our money. We just keep on spending our money. That's our saving. Okay, now I'm going to You don't do piggy banks anymore. We do Ziploc bags. Ziploc bags. Yeah. Well, okay, guys, so just want to give you guys a little update. Oh, my God. 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 Um, I went to go get an MRI with my knee. I went to the doctor. I finally went to the doctor. I don't know if I even talked about it yet on this vlog, but finally went to the doctor. They checked my knee out and I put a picture right here. You guys will see it. Um, what's going on with my knee. It actually, turns out I ended up, I tore my meniscus. That's why my knee has been bothering me so so much because I ended up torn my meniscus. Honestly, I, I don't know. The doctor just told me that he thinks when I went to the appointment, the first appointment, he had me squat, do a couple things with my knees, and do a couple exercises. So he told me that he believes the reason why I tore it is three reasons. One, just like because when you work out, if you work out, you know that everybody says, you know, ass grass is squat really low. But he told me that basically I tore it, he believes, because for squatting too low. I do have really good joint mobility, I think it's called. Basically, I can squat really low and my ankles don't lift up and go side to side. So I always have squatted really, really low. Also, he believes it's wear and tear just over the years. And of course, I'm a natural lifter, natural bodybuilder, so I don't heal as I wasn't performing enhancing drugs. So he believes there's those things that are going on. Yeah, pretty annoying. Um, I've been working out legs. I've been doing my workout. I just haven't been going, working out like I used to at all because okay, I'm afraid. And honestly, a lot of the things that I do hurt. It just bothers me. I feel like I'm just stabbing my knee. So you guys can see the difference on that photo. I think I'll put it again. Basically, I think I put it in the captions there. It's my meniscus supposed to look that way, but it looks this way because there's a tear in there. So my only options that he's giving me is either surgery or he's gonna, I, I can get a brace 
get physical therapy. I want to get the surgery done. And honestly, I want to get the surgery done because a lot of people are telling me to just get it done. The more I wait it out, the worse it's going to be. But I don't know. I'm just afraid to get this surgery done because I don't know what's going to happen. Like, I'm just afraid of the, you know, afraid of the unknown, of course. And like, the only surgery that I ever got in my life was when I had my hernia, my umbilical hernia. And that was like, took me a whole year off freaking gym. He, the doctor said that if I do get this surgery done, I will only be off the gym and, you know, on crutches for like maybe three months top. Um, maybe even less, depending on how my body heals. But it's just the unknown. So I, so what I went, I went with the route as uh, I'm gonna get a knee brace and I'm gonna get physical therapy. And then basically the doctor said, I'm gonna give you three months see what happens and in those three months you can always call us back and say hey you know what it's not working out the pain is not going away and then come and get the surgery but i have those three months you know what I, that reminds me of i don't know do you guys go to high school and you guys see a witness like that one person that played sports and got hurt and wore a knee brace for the entire their high school career <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be that person. I'm gonna wear my knee brace everywhere I go and never take it off. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like Stone Cold Steve Austin, y'all. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Mauricio 316. <laughs> We'll see what happens of course i'm gonna vlog everything guys also if you're new you're a new subscriber thank you so much for subscribing to our youtube channel anna's not here i think she's taking a shower we it's actually sunday uh we're getting ready for work tomorrow because yeah if you're a new subscriber uh thank you guys so much for subscribing thank you guys so much for liking the videos commenting uh sharing everything you guys are doing we really really appreciate it um, um as i'm recording this video right now we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers and that is insane that is insane like i never thought those words would come out of my mouth never thought in a million years my words since i started youtube okay if you guys have subscribed to here since before you know i started the youtube with just me doing fitness doing shows competing working out and now it became like a family-based channel and i never thought i would be saying that those words would come out of my mouth we're about to hit 10,000 subscribers So who knows where we are by the time we make this video. By the time this video goes up, there's a couple videos before that I need to upload. Thank you. Uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you're new, subscribe. Um, we really, really love you guys. We appreciate you guys because it's crazy. And uh, you know, it's dope seeing that we're making content and people are liking and people are enjoying it and people are watching, liking it. It's really, really dope. And honestly, we're doing it for the fun of it. And of course, because it's crazy to watch videos back and especially with the kids, <laughs> the growth. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces, deuces.